All right, welcome back to Tiny Rogues once again. Uh, this is episode number three, and we've completed two runs so far, so we've been two for two. We're at mastery level five here, so we have two points to use. I didn't use them last run. Healing rewards are 50% more common while at the brink of death. Sounds pretty good. You know what? Sure. Dice rewards always grant two additional ethereal dice. That's like changing your traits, I believe, right? Dice rewards always grant one additional golden dice. That's changing shops and stuff. And dice rewards always grant three additional red dice is like being able to change the rooms more often. Oh, that's a tough one, actually. Is there anything good down here? Mini games are easier. <laughs> Event rooms within mini games are, the tw are twice as common. Okay, interesting. I want to hold off on the dice for now. Gain a 20% chance on each room ro uh, reward roll to roll the maximum number of rewards. Or... Safe bet, if the rolled amount of rewards is below average, the amount is rolled again, taking the higher of the two values. Huh. I think we go for a safe bet here. Let's do that. Okay, sweet. Alright, so we've done the hero. We have not done the... We did the hero and the... What do we play? <laughs> I already can't remember. The mystic, I think. Which, by the way, a lot of the double stats, I feel like should have been more effective. But... We just unlocked the Gunslinger, so let's try the Gunslinger. So we get un unlucky hit, your next attack is guaranteed to repeat. So this is a lucky build, I guess. I don't mind starting with some gold. Felt pretty good. Dude, this game is so good. It's it's up there for one of the best roguelikes. Okay, we got we got a free a free uh Oh wait, repeat is that a lucky shot? I don't know what lucky shot lo looks like. I'm not sure, but we get a, a free meat. Let's get some dice. Uh, too bad I didn't upgrade the dice. Okay, well, that's kind of trolling. Okay, so that's... I think the lucky shot's happening quite often. We got lucky there, too. Dex. We're just going to start with a, uh, a solid foundation. We have 35 gold. Let's go for two bombs in case we, found, we find a way we want to go where there's... Uh, a bomb we have to use. Oh my god, broccoli? Yes, please. So this guy's inherently just very lucky, I think. I think that's what it's saying. Oh, it's cursed. Let's get a blessing. Okay. Comeback blessing is a shrine status that on completing a combat encounter without taking damage, recover one heart and lasts one floor. Oh, it's only this floor? That's garbage. I probably won't even take damage on this floor. It's too easy. Okay, we don't have a key yet, so let's take some more bombs. I don't really like having the time... Oh, you know what? We, we got dice. Uh, What did we get? We did get a red die. Okay, well, I kind of messed up. Un Let's go for uncommon item. Time to feast. Feast on a perfect, a perfect round there. I didn't miss a shot. I missed a shot. I think the gun. I think the the pistols also do something. Let me let me read this. Uh, no, it's just a normal revolver. Okay, interesting. Ooh, we got an epic. What is this? On dash, your next primary attack deals a guaranteed ruthless hit, which have 100% more top end damage. Ooh. Wait, that feels pretty good. Nah, I don't really... This is not great, because you are, you have to take damage for it to work. I don't really like, I don't really like on take damage stats at all. Because in the perfect world, you just don't take damage. So now it's kind of good to like kind of dash around. Well, maybe not to maybe you don't want to miss. This revolver sucks. <laughs> okay. And we level up. Okay, this is where we're gonna start to see some benefits in our run here. On lucky hit, gain cheap shot, increasing secondary attack damage. 
Okay. So, we don't have any secondary attacks yet. Crushing hits are guaranteed to roll top end damage at close range. Point blank. That could be good. Periodically trigger your on bomb effects. And throw a grenade? Every 2.5 seconds. That seems pretty good, but I feel like we could build into a cheap shot here, and we could always re-roll that in the future. Uh, we got we got three bombs. Let's. I gotta stop missing my dash shot. Okay, so our, our run is not very good right now, but we just need we need weapons. Well, it hurt me. Grants 25% increased attack speed, but reduces damage by 50%. No thank you. That's horrible. Disenchanting heavy crossbow. Strength and dexterity. Does okay damage. Actually, it does very good damage, but it's only 1.64 per second. Where this is 3.2. Or, yeah, 3.2 attacks per second is very far. It's E and C, but I think it'll be better for just overall spamming. I got banjo. I don't really care for the banjo right now. Let's let's try the let's try this. Okay, that's feeling pretty good. Let's go for arcade. Yeah. Nice. Nice. This is very good. Golem armor, plus two hearts, and increased damage with the crushing hits. Did we get that? Did I take the that crushing hits thing? I don't think I did. No, I did, didn't I? But I need secondary attacks. Okay, so this is good. But I think right now, 20% extra damage is probably better. But I will hold on to this, because if I can get secondary attacks, I'm in a good spot. Happy double scythe. And hit twice. Okay, let me let me try this. What in the world? Considering we're very lucky, we're just gonna get a lot of stuff. Okay, we got a brutal morning star. Super effective damage multiplier. Weird attack. Grants a spiky ball orbital that does thrusting damage. Got to attune it. I still think my damage is better. What just happened? I think it broke. So it seems if it if it breaks, then you don't get anything. Okay, let's try. Let's try this guy. Well, this is definitely better than the revolver. Right now, let's go for two bombs. Even though we have a ton. Is this better though? This homes? I'll get some intelligence. I just like to have upgrade upgrades on my on my uh, my XP. Get some more traits. Let's say you're really gonna upgrade your your run. Not locked. Sure. It's a mimic. Sure, we have some tipsiness. We can add that. Let's get a ranged weapon. What are you? Banshee. Dude, the homing is great. All right. If I can increase my lucky hit through traits, I think I'm going to be very disgusting. It would also help if I actually if I actually had a gun. Since I'm a gunslinger, I think that it's not necessary, obviously, but I feel like it's appropriate. Is this a double bow? Double shot bow. Very far range. I think it shoots two two shots. Firestorm scroll is okay. Headhunter's golden desert eagle. On dash, the next hit of this attack 
or if this weapon is guaranteed lucky hit. That seems just fun. I don't I don't know if it's better than the double shot bow. We already have a bow though. Let's try this. Okay, let's let's give this a try. So what, what are we looking for? We're looking for uh oh, let's get some gold. Oh, this is just this is just a better weapon, I think. We're looking for a weapon with secondary hits. And we are looking for more stats. Yep, there we go. I will say I don't like that the uh, the bow decides what it wants to go for because I'd like to attack what I'm going for. But, you know, I can't complain that much. It does decent damage. Like, see, I'm firing over at this guy, but it's it's aiming at the uh, the thing next to me. Okay. Not bad. Do I go for intelligence? I feel like I just go for stats. I need traits. Let's get rid of all these. Nice. I have $52, let's go for it. Toxic Scepter, Unlucky Hit, Trigger, no. Uh, honestly, I don't know if I care. I don't know if I care. Let me, let me uh, re-roll. I don't have any. Okay. Well, I guess we're just moving on. I should probably go to this and sell some stuff. So goodbye, Revolver. Terrible. I think I still want to keep this crushing hits thing. Let's sell this. 10 gold. Let's sell this. 6 gold. The hits twice seems decent, but I don't think it's... Uh, oh, you know, honestly, this might sell for decent. 5 gold. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's keep this. Because this actually still does decent damage. What did I just do? I just used my potion. Oh, no. I don't really want to upgrade anything else. I'm just going to get more money. This seems like it does better clear. Yeah, very, very well. This might be my best weapon right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go for a tavern here. Let's see what we have. Yes, please give me a black market. Okay, here we go. Oh, railgun again! Secondary attack. Are we doing? A, are we getting the same weapon? Oh my god. Okay, well, so now I want to wear this. I think. Cause am I reading this right? We have. I didn't. Yeah. Wait. I didn't take it. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I didn't take it. It just increases secondary attack damage. I didn't realize I was thinking about the same thing. So this this doesn't mean anything right now. I'm so dumb. Okay. That's pretty free money. I'll take those. I should probably buy illegal gun parts. Um what what What's up here? Rusty Revolver. It's a companion. Each shrimp grants 25% increased damage with guns and cannons. Am I really doing another another railgun build here? <laughs> what is happening? Souls. We could load capacity is, I guess, kind of nice to have, but... What is happening? We're getting, like, the same stuff. Okay, I'm going to do shrimp. Yeah, let's just go with this guy. So we have increased gun damage. And what does he think of my weapon? All right, so he gave me he gave me a blacksmith whetstone. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Are we surprised? We know railguns do well. Offhands, we need we don't really have a, the ability to use offhands anymore right now, but 
I don't think this bee is lasting very long. Yeah. Ow. Okay. So we are 1 HP, but I think we... You know what? We probably should just use one flask. Gain 5% lucky hit chance per weapon upgrade level. Your lucky hits charm. Charm is an emotion debuff that makes target 25% more damage at far range and lasts 8 seconds. So that gets rid of this. So I mean... Like, we have 20% bonus damage based on our stamina. I think it's good to have this. I think that we'll, we'll need to have a higher... Yeah. We need to get to the set. We need a tuxedo or a wedding ring. So we're, we're going to look for some sets here. I don't think it's worth recovering yet, but let's just attune. We could get favor, actually. Let's do that. I pretty much always grab health here. I don't know if that's wise. It feels like the right decision, though. On non-triggered... What is non-triggered hits? Are hits that come from attacks that are not triggered themselves. E.e. primary attacks or secondary attacks. Okay, so... That seems pretty good. On non-triggered, let me hit... Tr uh, trigger a blessed hammer. No, I think we're going to do this. I don't like curses. I, I've, I've said this many times. And to be honest, I'm probably not even going to open this chest. I just avoid cur curses, though. Let's grab some keys, because we have 10 bombs. Is my shrimp... Does my shrimp have a... My shrimp is a, re a revolver. <laughs> Please give me a tuxedo. Demolition boots. I don't have any room. I'm going to drink my wine. Just grab that. I don't really need to refill one flask. We could try the dragon slayer stash. That seems pretty interesting. I don't think I've opened one of these before. Is it any good? It is not. Well, I mean, that's pretty good damage. I mean, mine's already at 1,100. I'm doing a lot. Oh, and also, it's 1,100 on my normal primary attack, but then my secondary attack is also doing 1,200. So this is just better. But this will probably sell for a decent amount. So the event does. Throw gold. Throw gold. Throw gold. Uh-oh. We got plus one luck. Okay. Let's, uh, we don't have any keys anyways. Let's go this way. Sweet. That's a good amount of money. Let's go for the decks. Set item. I'm just gonna go for set items, man. I need the, I need the, need the tuxedo. If I can get crazy lucky hits, we're probably in a good spot. Oh my god. Okay, goodbye. What you got for me? Tuxedo, please? That does not look like a tuxedo or a wedding ring. Uh, 20% melee damage. None of these are great. None of these are great. Um, so this one will probably sell for the most. I don't even know. I don't even know what to get rid of. I guess this guy is not very good. Let's just throw that down. All right. Let us move on. You know, we haven't really gotten... The synergy I really want, but we're getting there. We've got a semi-lucky build going on, but nothing 
nothing cr overly crazy. I think I'm gonna go for more stats. Curse bombs? Nope. Even though I don't have a key, this is not good, but... Okay. Rare weapons? Do I... I should just get a key. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna get a key. I, I think the railgun's pretty good. Ooh, 25 to 30 gold? Oh my god. Yeah, we need a pawn shot badly. Let's do that. I don't want to sell that. I, I've been using the shrimp pretty pretty nicely. Okay, it upgrades non-melee weapons up to level 3. So, let's get rid of the red oni mask. Is this a good idea to get rid of weapon damage or is that all damage? I feel like that's not good. I'm going to throw this out. <laughs> this is very bad. So, we want to keep... Do we care about this crushing hits anymore? I don't know if we do. It is two extra hearts. Let's keep it for now. I just don't feel like it's going to be that useful. I think that's all we want to do so far. Three decks. Let's go for it. Feels kind of silly to have the same gun t two rounds in a row, but can't really help the game from... Trying to make me win. Okay, repairs armor. I'm just gonna use the stamina surge. Thank you for the soul heart. Thank you for the bombs. I want some keys. Thank you. Another soul heart. Okay, it's broken. Cursed beef, no thank you. Sometimes I think my helper is a... Uh, is a, an enemy, <laughs> so... Well, that's my fault. I probably should be paying attention. Okay, and it's over. We are halfway through. We have been uh, pretty blessed with these runs so far. Legendary. What is this guy here? Lightning damage inflicts burn, and burn damage dealt additionally is based on lightning affliction damage. It's accessory. On dash. I haven't been dashing that much, honestly. I forgot I had this. <laughs> so I think I'm going to just... Yeah, I think I'm going to take that. Armor break. Don't really care. Elemental damage, but I feel like this is just going to be doing more. So, burn is a fire damage over time ailment that deals 50% of fire af infliction damage as fire damage two times per second. That's a lot of words. Another soul heart? The music on this floor is crazy, man. Oh my god, I'm like losing my mind. Nice. I'm still keeping my eyes up for secrets, but I don't really know exactly what they look like. I'm not gonna open either of these. You know what? Do I have a do I have a die? I do have a die. Let's re-roll. That's perfect. It's like a cursed library floor or something. Alright. Your repeated attacks gain 100% lethal hit. Lethal hits deal double damage. Current lethal hit chance is zero. Repeated attacks deal 25% less damage. Wait, what? Okay, so they get 25% less damage. That's so weird. They get 25% less damage, but then they also double. 
The damage from critical hits is multiplied with your critical hit multiplier. You currently have 8%. Why is that even being said? Is it, am, I, am I dumb? I think that's really good, though. Yeah, I'm just going to grab that. Let's get some dice. I'm seeing 4,000s or 5,000s almost. So I think we made the right choice. Let's go down here. Applies a random enchantment. That could be bad, though. Let's let's do it, but I'm scared. Okay. So let's hit four. Chilling. So we're doing cold damage as well as lightning as well as fire. This is good. Railgun has all the elements. Let's go to a shop. It's for souls. Refills a flask. Don't really care. I don't think five ethereal dice. I was going to say, I thought it was one, but it's five dice. That's pretty dang good. I'm going to buy that. I don't think it's worth buying two keys for souls. We're doing like almost all the elements. Look at the key. I don't, like I said, I don't really care about the refill right now. We have three soul hearts. There's no reason I should really be that worried. Let's get another charm. I thought we got a, oh, we didn't choose the charm. That's right. Okay. The owl's kind of scary, actually. He has some pretty crazy attacks. We're going to kill him very fast. Okay, he barely did anything. That fight can be pretty crazy, though. Epic charm. We like that. What is this? Attuning the cube will solve it. Can't you just attune your items now, though? I feel like this is a little bit silly. Grant 0 0.25 seconds out of invulnerability after dash. That sounds awesome. I, I want to know what this cube does. I don't know what to do. I'll take the charm because accessories, we kind of have this accessory, which is kind of busted. I would have liked to know, though. Maybe another time. Because, yeah, like, attune items. Isn't this just, like, a free attune? Like, immediately? Okay, one soul heart again. Let's go. We'll go for uh, a rare weapon, I guess. We have bazooka, kazoo. <laughs> Cause it's kind of funny they have both of these, like kazooka, bazooka, kazoo. Um, twinkling Molotov. So twinkling is plus one upgrade level. Okay, interesting. I mean, none of these are really that good. This might be worth the most. Actually, this is probably worth the most. Um, I guess we drop this and take this for free. Take some decks. Shop. Lucky. So why is this lucky exactly? Gunpowder ring. Don't really care. Sheriff boots. Unlucky hit gain swiftness. But I think we already have... Oh, you know what? That is better. Talisman. Doesn't work for me. I could reroll shop after I buy this. Okay, I can't pick it up because I have too many items. Let's do this. Let's wear those. And I'm going to drop this. Pick this up. Let's reroll the shop. I don't have any. Okay, I don't have any yellow dice. Do I care for the tavern right now? I don't think I do. Okay, here we go. Let us upgrade this. Let us upgrade this. Let's use this. And then let's use this. 
Railgun is now level four. Yeah, I say it's pretty good. Everything is just dying on screen. One range weapon, why not? Doesn't really matter. Sweet. <laughs> oh, why are we getting such overpowered runs? Maybe I'm just catering to like what I'm supposed to be doing, but I feel like this is just too easy. Do we have two epics? Stormhammer? On taking damage. Man, I hate on taking damage. So dumb. Chill additionally adds 20% chance to be lucky hit from this weapon. Happy. 10% plus 10% lucky hit chance. I wish it was better. I wish it was better. It has an S scaling on dexterity with which like my character has 22 dex, but it doesn't do that much. I don't really know. I don't feel like any of these are great. Sure. I think it's maybe better than this thing. It's so underwhelming compared to the railgun. The railgun is just overpowered. Obsidian chests are better than golden chests, I think. So let's give it a go. Sweet. Clown suit. I'm taking damage trigger a confetti explosion. Once again, taking damage, man. What is up with that? I, I hate that. Uh, I don't want to get curses, man. I just don't want to get curses. I hate curses. Let me know in the comments if I'm dumb to completely avoid curses. I just do not like them in games at all. I just think that they're unpredictable. Oh, broccoli. Maybe you can like tell me I'm being really dumb and not as efficient as I should be. Cause I am avoiding some good rewards under a curse. But I feel like that's why I'm winning my runs. I'm just avoiding being cursed. Gain 150% critical hit multiplier. Holy, at close range, but eh. Nope. Strength also counts towards dexterity damage. Nope. That's kind of crazy. Nope. Best friends for gain increased stats for your companions based on how many companions you have. 100% for three, 200% and 300% at one companion. So I have one shrimp friend, which is going to make my gun do even more damage. I think we, uh, oh, wait a minute. No. This is actually kind of crazy because if I'm dashing around, I'm going to be doing like a lot of repeated attacks. I think I like this though. I'm just going to be doing like way more damage because this, this, this shrimp friend. Where is he? Each shrimp grants 100% increased damage with guns and cannons. I'm doing like 6,000. 500 damage almost to the to the like at the up top end damage. That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go for some gold. Oh my god. No wanna shop, why not? Uh is it <laughs> like a machine gun? I'm seriously just looking for Ooh, wait a minute. This is secondary attacks. Is that is that good? I still don't think I care though. Yeah, I don't care. I'm a gunslinger. Why, why do I care? This might be the highest highest damage run we've had so far. I don't even have this thing on yet. I mean, I am getting like, increased damage with this, but it's not. This got to go. This is just not good. Let's take this. I guess we'll keep it for now. Oh. Isn't this like insane? 
Yeah, okay, so I can drop something here. There's got to be something better than chilling, but don't I have something that does chilling or something? No. So I could definitely get something better than chilling. Let's do it. Arcane Breath. I don't know what... Which one did I try first? The Arcane Breath? Let's try Icker Breath. What does this do? Divine. 25 to 50 Radiant Damage. And I'm pretty sure Radiant Damage uh, slows people. This is kind of... This is kind of a core build, to be honest. That's kind of sad. I could try for a better uh, a better body armor, for sure. We got the Dark Souls boss again. I'm going to try and kill this guy first. Last time I killed the other guy first. If I try, I mean, I'm going to literally obliterate him in like two seconds. Okay, well, we're not even going to see the guy's fight. That's awesome. What is this? Paladin shield, Halloween cape, papercraft lantern. We can't use. This sounds awesome. If we can make, I'm gonna grab this because if I can make my railgun one-handed somehow, then we're basically getting 30% bonus damage on top of the damage we already have, which is insane. I might re-roll my traits until I find the one-hander. I see stats. I take stats. Epic weapons. I really don't think I'm going to find something better. I just don't. How could you argue I'm going to find something better than something doing like 5,000 damage on a base? That doesn't make any sense. Set items. Yes. Give me a tuxedo. Give me a wedding ring. Cat ears? What is this? Okay. So we need we need a <laughs> we need a pawn shop. Because this is just too much going on. What what is this? That's terrible. That's it is uncommon. is it is uncommon. It's probably worth more than is this rare? This is just a set. I don't know if sets are worth more. They might be. I think that this is a one run. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't don't see how you could possibly see this being anything but a one run. Yeah, I don't even know what to go for. Let's let's uh let's skip the mana because I'm not going to use a mana weapon here. So yeah, I'm not, uh you know what? I have enough bombs. I think I can bomb it. Who knows? This run could take an insane twist on the final floor. So what are we looking for? Trigger Mania. Trigger Mania is a motion buff that grants 100% in trigger, increased trigger damage. I don't know if we have many triggers. Afflicting Maximum Shock. <laughs> I think we find something better, more interesting. We got this again. But once again, something more interesting. I think we want to find something like really interesting. Uh, after standing still... No. No. Your attack speed is always your weapon's base attack speed, but percentage modifiers to attack speed instead apply to base weapon damage at 200% of their value. I'm pretty sure that has to do with, like, yeah, I'm 32% attack speed. So instead, that is 64% bonus damage. I think that's worth it. Let's do that. It feels a little worse, like, for attacking, but we do attack twice and repeat quite often. So I think... We're just going to do stupid damage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that was worth it. It's doing overall more damage. Kabuto. Ooh, but that's not as good as Lucky Hits. I think my Lucky Hits are doing crazy things, right? Because I do like double hits on 
My attacks repeat? Yeah, guaranteed repeat. Okay, so not... Rare charm, just 5% critical hit chance. Yes, please. Okay, let's get some favor here. We can get another heart. Which will make our offhand lantern even better if we can ever make it happen. But I don't think we're going to make it happen. Let's get some dice. I'll take, I'll take the cake. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's wise for me to just avoid curses, even though the other options are better. I ne I'd need to sell stuff. We have a ton of money too. This is insane. Okay, let's. This is not happening. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the leaf. Clown suit. Bazooka. I'm still gonna. Oh, there's the charm. Yeah, we had charm, but we don't have it activated yet. Oh, yeah, my my. I think my my accessory is better. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. Let's just see how much money we can get. 28 gold for that one. Okay. So we're still sitting with this. Oh, we have no keys. We, uh, we're still sitting with this wedding dress. Uh, I don't even think I care about armor. We're almost doing 10,000 damage. Okay, well, this is the end of the game. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. Might as well see what the legendary item is. Why not? Doesn't really matter. So this guy's gonna die. Probably the fastest we've ever seen him die. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> So dumb. What's the what's the legendary? Mithril coat. Honestly, not even that crazy. Let's look at the turtle armor. Basically, does the exact same thing. I mean, it doesn't defy death, but yeah. Okay, whatever. I don't know if it's if it, is it important for me to grab these. I don't know if it is. I can walk a little far this time. I'm not going to let it drag, drag me back. I'm worried that if I let it drag me back, I don't get to pass these torches. But what a run. That was uh, very good. I think Railgun might be one of the uh, S-tier S weapons in the game. Secondary attacks being over a thousand damage from like base is kind of insane. That's two masteries here. So like I said, as, as always, I'll keep these mastery points for the next round. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, what a run. Gunslinger is quite good. We've got three of the five uh, defeated boss or defeated death characters so far. So we need the Shadow Planes by unlocking this. So we need to kill two more deaths with different characters. Let's see what we do next. Maybe a Pyromancer. Mancer, uh, maybe the Pyromancer for next time. We'll try the uh, like a fire build or something. But hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.